Hey guys, Packy here. Uh, it is 4.15 p.m. 5.24.2011 up here as you can see. And what I'm doing is I actually am bringing your attention to RSOE EDIS. And like I always do, I will provide all the links of all the articles that I go through so that way you guys can check, verify, and please comment. But anyways, right here is what I want to bring your attention to. Okay, in the U.S. here, look what's going on, guys. We have more airplane incident issues going on. It's always in America, always. I rarely see them anywhere else, rarely. Now that we've had this uh, 50 quake, you know, 50 small earthquakes and uh, two volcanoes go off here in Iceland, now I'm seeing a little bit of airplane problems over here. Uh, you know, in the United Kingdom's, you know, area. Anyways, so I know that now the airplanes show up anywhere on this map when it has to do with an airplane down or airplane issue or whatever. So RSOE works everywhere in the everywhere in the world. And what I'm saying is, is every time I come to this site. It seems like America is always the only country that has issues with airplanes. I don't know. You guys tell me. Please comment. Please check out the site daily. You will see what I'm trying to say. Now, as you can see, we have some flooding going on up north and here in Canada. Montana. We have these twisters, tornadoes down right now, Joplin. We all know about that. Okay, they're talking about another round, but I'll get to that here in a minute, guys. We've got flooding down here in the Morganza Spillway. Now, what I'm doing is, is actually here, let me bring it over here. I want you to watch this storm that's moving up past Japan. And probably what's going to happen is this thing is going to swing around come back over here do this little jiggy jog and then come back over here anyways RSOE EDIS check it out I look at it every day now I'm gonna take you to AccuWeather now what it's talking about is historic severe outbreak to affect 80 million in metros you guys this is not normal I have never even heard of so many catastrophes in the first six months of a year period in my life. And what it says here is if you try to draw a severe weather map over, over the most of the population of the eastern U.S., you couldn't do a much better, you couldn't do any better than this government forecast here. In other words, right, like I ever want to believe the government. But anyways, one worry everyone seems to have this year this is this is crazy because how many people worry about this will my city be hit by a tornado look at this map guys this is what's coming now what it is, is it has to do with water weight they're putting water right on the Mississippi River the Mississippi River River is not going to be able to hold this weight guys it's not going to be able to maintain all this water I'm telling you right now and I'm going to show you an article that actually proves it Anyways, I'm going to move on to my, uh, my next article. And it talks about in the path here, guys. And here's the path. Wichita, Oklahoma City, Omaha, Kansas City, Tulsa, and Joplin again, guys. Look at this. It's going all the way from, you know, New Mexico straight up the same way it did before. And what it's doing is it's placing all this weight where it's been fractured along the Mississippi River. You guys tell me. Anyways, now, this is from the New York Times. In wake of tornado, officials say 1,500 are unaccounted for. All right, guys, 1,500 people are missing in Joplin. This is a battered city, a fire department official said Tuesday, as, re as rescue workers took advantage of a few hours of sunny weather to continue searching for survivors in the buildings 
leveled by the country'est deadliest tornado in more than 60 years. And at least 117 people have died already, guys. But if you go read Wall Street Journal, they'll tell you it's normal to have these kind of storms. But yet, they're saying it's a you know, it's the deadliest tornado in more than 60 years. Okay, I'm tired of hearing all the lies from MSN. It's driving me crazy. Don't know what to believe anymore. So what you got to do is you got to pull up a whole bunch of articles and discern it and, and look at it for yourself. That's how it works. Now, look at this, guys. This is Claims Journal. All right, it says, PC insurers facing record losses from weather. So insurance companies now, devastate. well, I'll go ahead and read it. Devastating tornadoes, floods, earthquakes overseas, and a busier-than-usual hurricane season have, you, have the U.S. insurance companies bracing for record losses in 2011. Huh, I wonder if I'm smelling a, bail, a bailout, guys. QE3? You guys tell me. I don't know. They're saying that they could suffer as much as $10 billion from weather-related losses in the United States in 2011, which is up from the average of $2 billion to, to $4 billion. That's a huge difference, guys. Huge. We're talking about 8 to $6 billion difference. And they're just acting as if all this is normal. Everybody's eyes are on Joplin. Listen, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you're anywhere if you're anywhere near the Mississippi River and the New Madrid fault line and you have lost your house and it has flooded and or anything, if you have any issues there, if you can go, get away from that area. That earthquake goes off almost every 200 years. It's due, guys. You need to get away from the area, take your loss and go. I know it's hard to go, but I'm doing it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. That's all I have to say. And I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. And this is where I am from. The Mississippi River flood will be completely uncontrollable. The Mississippi River is about to receive another massive dose of water over the next few days. <laughs> okay, guys. They've gotten a lot of water. Northwest Arkansas, Southwest Mo has gotten over a foot of rain over the past two days alone, and it is expected to rain for the next five days. Now, there's a link here for you guys to check it out. It's up to you. Every lake, every lake and river in Arkansas is connected to the Mississippi, guys. Get away from the Mississippi River. To make things worse, every single lake in Arkansas is man-made. And they will most likely have to open the floodgates on some of our bigger lakes. Once this happens, there will be nothing to stop the water from going directly into the Mississippi. It says here our soil is completely saturated and, and we cannot take any more water. And it shows some pics here if you guys want to check them out. Like I said, I'll provide the links below. I'm going to go ahead and hit play on this, on this video right here with this bridge. This is at Table Rock, guys. This is a golden... Great Golden Gate Bridge at Table Rock Lake. They're not even talking about this, guys. I just left. I just left a shop, and what they told me was is that they're already opening up the floodgates in that area. So, for all the people that are saying that they haven't opened them yet, no, they're opening them. The Mississippi's under. It's totally uncontrollable right now, guys. That's it. It's real simple. I'm going to provide the links. You guys discern it. Tell me what you think. Now I'm going to take you way off the ball here, guys. And I think this guy should just shut up. And I'm warning you right now, another false prophet. The preacher that predicted May 21st rapture says the world, the world will actually end in October now. A California preacher who foretold of the world's end only to see a, the appointed day pass with no extraordinary cataclysmic event has revised his apocalyptic prophecy saying he was off by five months and the earth actually will be, obliter um, will be destroyed on October 21st, guys. All right, so he's changed his date. Don't know why. You guys tell me. But with the fact that maybe QE3 is coming and it might have to do with the insurance companies, might have to do with student loans, it might have to do with the 
mortgage crisis. Who knows? But we know QE3 is coming. The one thing I always go and check is silver. And look what silver's doing, guys. It's going straight up. And I've been telling people for years to buy silver. Silver. Not gold. Silver. Silver coins. Not bars. Silver coins. That's it. It's up 1.75 right now. 36.65. The Dow's down. It's tanking. The dollar is being devalued, guys. That's all I have to say. And for some reason, America always has problems with airplanes. And we know why they're having problems with airplanes. We know why over here they're having problems with these airplanes. It's because it has to do with the volcano. But what is up with America? We don't have any volcanoes causing these airplane issues. Anyways, that's my report for right now, guys. I pray for you all. I love you all. Please please keep watching. Like I said, I have a website, poweroftheweb.net. If YouTube does take down my videos, my, vi my videos will be placed there. And that's it. Take care. I'm out.